Brianna Aldridge joined with Patrick Walker from Cowboys.com here to kind of point out what we saw from week one with the Cowboys first Browns. And just to start things off, we have to talk about the latest update with Jake Ferguson because obviously, yes, we're talking about last week, but looking ahead, that's kind of a big deal when your number one tight end isn't a for sure go right now. Yeah, absolutely terrifying moment for the Dallas Cowboys when Jake Ferguson went down with a knee injury did not return to the game but great news he will not be put on injured reserve he may not even miss mm -hmm. this upcoming game against the Saints it's an MCL sprain but he's in the return to work program today in Wednesday's practice he has a shot at playing on Sunday and just in case he doesn't McCarthy did say look for Schoonmaker to be more active role I guess you could say um, what would you kind of be eyeing let's say we get to Friday and the news is not going how we're thinking well Schoonmaker is obviously going to be asked to step up this is a former second round pick from just last year but also look at a guy like Hunter Lipke he's the fullback but he did a lot of work with the tight ends uh, in Oxnard at training camp John Stevens Jr. missed the season opener with a hamstring injury can he get back onto the field for his NFL debut Brevin Span forward uh, high ranked undrafted guy. He's going to be looked to step up and also Princeton fan on the practice squad might get an elevation. OK, so as promised, we got to dissect a little bit of what happened in week one. The biggest storyline heading in was how are these two rookie offensive linemen going to measure up to Miles Garrett? And I think it's safe to say that they they passed their first test. They did. Uh, Miles Garrett had only one sack and even mm -hmm. that was arguable. Maybe it was an incomplete mm -hmm. pass. But overall, you talk about Tyler Guyton out there more often than not on an island with the reigning NFL defensive player of the year and mm -hmm. played very well. Slide inside a couple spots. Cooper Beebe allowed zero pressures and zero sacks safe to say that he did a phenomenal job both of those guys in their first uh, NFL game for the Cowboys and I want to talk about who's we just talked about it not a rookie right but kind of is kind of is a rookie we're talking about Demarion Overshone right um, he was just fun to watch it looked like when people come back from the second half and they lose a little juice it looked like I don't know what he had in the locker room <laughs> but he just came out and put Deshaun Watson just flat out laid him out what can you just see about his rookie debut you know technically he is a rookie yeah. realistically uh, well, actually, technically he's not a rookie but realistically mm -hmm. he is this is a guy that was red shirted all of last year due to that torn ACL what does he come out and show you every single thing every single reason that the Cowboys made him a third round pick a couple years ago mm -hmm. if that and now you look at speed the ability to spy mobile quarterbacks that's going to come in handy guess who's on the menu uh, Lamar Jackson right mm -hmm. so that's going to be cinema but you look at the speed his juice his football IQ his patience he has the patience mm -hmm. of a veteran I think he's getting that from a guy like Eric Kendricks, obviously Mike Zimmer, a linebacker's guru. So DeMarvion Overshown, uh, future is bright for that young man. Yeah, it seemed like everybody ate on defense in poor Deshaun Watts. I personally wanted to go help him by the time yeah, they got to the, to the third. That's true. He gets paid, get, he gets paid a little bit, yeah. yeah. So, a lot, a lot of <laughs> not as much as Dak Prescott. Though. No one does. <laughs> Love that for him. Um, so, my last question for you, though obviously, you're here day in and day out. Even when the team is off, you are still here grinding. What stood out to you? when you're looking at just the week one. I know it's we don't want to overreact, but what stood out to you? A, a couple things. Let's start with the offense. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott looks better than what many outside the building would have given him credit for. Mm -hmm. He comes out, of, it comes out first play. He hurdles a guy to let you know there's still some tread on those tires. And he caught a, a pass in space, made a guy miss. The shiftiness is still there as well. Brandon Cooks with the first touchdown of the season. Had a slow start last year. He's off to a fast start. Mm -hmm. CeeDee Lamb. What rust. CeeDee Lamb came in and was doing it as a halfback, as a, as, as a wide receiver, the whole nine yards. Defensively, Mike Zimmer's scheme looks fantastic. It's unpredictable. Trayvon Diggs looked great. DeMarvion Overshone, Eric Kendricks, Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence. The list goes on and on. Kalen Carson, another young man, debut and absolutely played football against Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore. All in all, when you put that into the package and understand that Mike Zimmer had 50 plays in his mm -hmm. defensive playbook. And Trayvon Diggs and Michael Parsons says he only unveiled three of those sets. Uh, scary hours might be on the <laughs> way for the Cowboys. Okay, so I lied because I said last question. What is your overall grade when you're looking at just overall as a team, offense and defense? What is the grade you give the Cowboys week one? I'm going to give the offense a C, uh, and that's because although they got off to a fast start, they did slow down in the second half. I would like to see them uh, have more of that killer instinct in the second half. Granted, you don't have to unveil everything when you have a lead that big, but don't take your foot off the gas. So a C there, but a solid B plus for the mm -hmm. defense. There were some things that they can clean up. Obviously, Kalen Carson wants two or three of those throws back because right. he could have had a two or three interception yeah. game. Um, but all things considered, the Cowboys defense played almost lights out. So I'll give them a B plus. So I land squarely at a mm -hmm. B. It's a B for me for the Cowboys against Cleveland Browns.
be solid for week one, I think. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> that's, the one and oh is even better. <laughs> that, starting with the win, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a good feeling and heading into a Saints team who is coming off a pretty convincing win themselves, and we'll get more into that tomorrow when we return. That's it for now for Patrick Walker and Brianna Aldridge.